While so many other families are still awaiting word on their loved ones. One family we spoke with today already got that word. Their nephew was among those killed by Hamas militants. Another family wondering about the fate of their father still does not know. And the wait is nothing short of excruciating. New Jersey correspondent Trish Hartman with the latest tonight from Gibbsboro. When Igor Kimmenfeld found out his father was missing in Israel, he traveled from his Gibbsboro home to be with his family, about a 10-minute drive from Gaza. 64-year-old Daniil Kimmenfeld has been missing since Saturday morning when the attacks by Hamas began. He called us, told us he's going into shelter at 6.30, and since then we never heard of him back. He went there with a friend, and they're both missing. Igor is now with his mom and brother as they wait for news. Nobody's calling us. Nobody's uh, nobody's informing us of anything. We gave all the details. We gave the DNA samples. You can go out to look for him because there's still terrorists lurking and there's rockets all the time. Many are left mourning those who did not make it out alive. Dr. Jack Ludmere, a physician in Philadelphia, is mourning the loss of his nephew, who was also a doctor just outside Gaza. He had sent uh his wife and two kids to the shelter, but he had stayed out trying to take care of the wounded because uh, there were many of them. 36-year-old Danny Levi Ludmere leaves behind a wife and two small children. He was found shot and killed at a medical clinic. His family is remembering him as a hero. She had asked him to please come to the shelter with the kids, and he said, absolutely not. I'm a physician. And uh, my mission is to save lives. Today, U.S. officials said they're arranging charter flights to get U.S. citizens and their immediate family members from Israel to Europe. They're also exploring the possibility of evacuating Americans by sea. Reporting in Gibbsboro, New Jersey, Trish Hartman, Channel 6, Action News.